I've grown up my whole life in Denver City, Texas. It's a small town southwest of Lubbock. Um, yeah, I went through school there, graduated from there. Um, I went to junior college in Snyder, Texas. Um, and so now moving to Colorado, new experience, um, new scenery, fresh, uh, breath of fresh air in the midst of this um, crazy time. It was around Christmas time whenever I think I first started talking to Coach Johnson and Coach Ford and just getting to know them personally. Um, I just really like what both of them have to offer for this team and how highly they spoke of the girls they, they had and the hopes and dreams that they had for this team. Um, that's something that I could relate with immediately because I've always been one to have um, big dreams for basketball. I think if you're not thinking and reaching for the highest level possible, you're not doing it right. And that's something that they've both um, said from the very beginning. And Obviously playing games, but also just the relationships that I get to make with people. Um, you make so many relationships with your teammates, with people you play against. And I mean, there are several girls on my team now that I've played against before at some point in my life. Um, and just when we start connecting the dots to the people we know, it just seems like a really small world. And so just that kind of basketball community that you get, um, that's one of the best things about it. I would have to say my favorite movie is Warrior. It's a boxing movie. It's kind of old. I think I would probably want to explore Europe more. One of my best friends from my junior college is from Madrid and um, Barcelona, and so I would love to go visit those places because I've never been before and also to see them. I have been to Southeast Asia, the country of Laos, three times on a mission trip with my home church, um, and it's one of my favorite places to go. I'm not more of like a hype person, but I kind of like to listen to um, my music, and I have, this year so far, I've been re-watching the Michael Jordan um, series and kind of just locking into some stuff like that. Um, often listen to some type of Christian music to get my head just mentally in a um, prepared space for why I play the game that I do. Um, and God will always be the reason that I'm able to play this game and the game that I love. And so it's just kind of a reminder for me before games start to kind of include that into my routine. I was actually really young, probably six or seven years old. We, I don't know if you've ever heard of PIPS, um, but that was an organization that we did with um, a group of kids from all elementary school ages, but we would do all different kinds of ball handling and um, passing routines and we would perform at the halftime of our varsity school's games. And so that was kind of the basic fundamental um, introduction to basketball I had. And then I started playing um, in games and stuff probably around second or third grade. This is always an interesting question for me. <laughs> we as players talk about this a lot, um, but really I'm a big family person. I love to spend time with my family. Um, I like to do things outdoors. That's one thing I've really enjoyed about being in Colorado is the different um, scenic stuff we've been able to do here, especially at the beginning of the year, just being able to get outside and enjoy that. Um, I'm a psychology major. I want to eventually go into speech and language pathology. So that's what I'll do after I graduate from here. There's been a lot of good ones, but I did get to go sledding for the first time at the beginning of the year with that first big snow with some teammates and some friends. Um, and so that was really fun. And we were able to have fun and also um, stay safe. So <laughs> it was good. Like I said, family is a big part of who I am and what I do. Um, my dad, I've been blessed to be able to have him coach me growing up. And I know a lot of players have had or have difficulties with their parents being their coach, but it was something that me and my dad really got to grow closer um, in doing so. And so um, I think it's really cool that we've been able to kind of obtain that coach, but also father-daughter relationship. Um, and I know I wouldn't be where I am without all the work that he's helped me um, put in. So.